What's going on, guys? Episode 10, Monumentous Occasion, our 10th episode, Knights of the Square Tablet, your host, Stride of the Champ here, and I am joined by the shining beacon of light that is Scotty the Games, the most loved person in chivalry. <laughs> hey, thanks, And of man. course, of course, at every yin, there's a yang, <laughs> the most hated man in chivalry, banned from everything, but the best <laughs> dressed person on the cast, the coach, Soder Dave. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Now... Now, Coach, I'm I'm noticing some some fine attire around the head region. Yeah. Um, so, as you know, I recently have been awarded a peasant cap for my amazing performance in the Blood of the East duel tournament. I know. Um, I'm sure this was the peasant cap, of course. Totally not mailed to me by Strida. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> totally. Take off, you got to take off the headphones. I'm, you know, we got to see. Yeah, the, I, I uh, think we got to see the leather God. straps. Yes, I think what? we got to take it off. My Discord loved that picture so much. Check it out. Like I, I don't flaps. know. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. I don't so, know if a so peasant tight. cap has ever been worn so well. This is not the right size, Strider. It's strangling well, me. Like, oh, like I, I, I apologize. So you see that? I, Look, I can't fit my finger under that. <laughs> I, I apologize that you have a big dome, but when you're searching for peasant caps on Amazon, there's not a wide selection or any sizes. It's This is the peasant cap. That's the peasant cap? Okay. And th this was well. the one that most resembled the Chivalry 2 one. So I, hey, I wanted to make know, sure, you know. Um, so I told you, just give it a it little works. cut in the back. like create I'm, I think I'm going to have to because, <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't necessarily feel comfortable. But hey, you know, I mean, I'm a peasant, so it's but, not like... But look, for, for the people who don't know the story... Coach Dave was possibly justly banned from the official Discord, and they refused to provide him with his his peasant cap that he won fair and square because of the ban. So I had to deliver and get Dave the uh, the peasant cap. So you know it, it's this looking good. This is just good. as good. This it's is looking just as good. good. I yeah. mean, I mean, it might be better. You can wear this for the next it thirty is, it years, is Dave. Better. Yeah, <laughs> this is like you know, if if Chivalry Two ever um goes down under, I still got a memento. And the the whole post in my Discord started a, a, a free Dave thing on their Discord, apparently. That, that's the good thing about my crew and the Angels, is we know Dave was probably banned justly, but we'll, we'll fight tooth and nail <laughs> that he was not. <laughs> Wonderful. Free Dave! All right, so we have, for our 10th episode, we got some new content. And I know both Scotty and Dave had a lot of time to check it out. Unfortunately, I was on vacation, so... The only the only thing I got to see was Scotty's video, and then Sun God sent me some clips. Yeah, but, I, I didn't have much time. I had uh, I only played the new the new map a few times, but um, I, I probably didn't have as much time. Maybe Dave had. Yeah, yeah, Solder probably had more time than me, but I, I I also have a few things to say, but I didn't get as much time as I wanted to, unfortunately. But I'm I'm interested to to hear the feedback because I've heard feedback from from my chats of people who played it and then what i got to watch when i was watching sun god's video and my initial feeling was that at least it looks like a chivalry map like i thought it looked pretty sick it looked like kingdom of heaven if you guys have seen that movie I, One of like my favorites. straight off the bat i think they got the colors of just a desert like much better than the other maps that are in the desert. It, it, um, it reminded me a lot more of like an actual desert instead yeah, of like the yeah. the movie Sahara I, desert I, type. Yeah, well, the, the other maps place. like Askendir and Bodwin and stuff like that they're oversaturated in my in my opinion. In this map, I I feel like I don't know, just visually the colors and stuff look look way better in my opinion. Look I, way more medieval. Um, it almost reminded me a little bit of Mordhau's color scheme a little bit. Like, uh, yes, just that one Mordhau map. Uh, the, the free-for-all map and the dual map that's like a desert with a bunch of wooden platforms. If you yeah, know talking, yeah, you know? yeah. Yes. I, now, like, that, the, those Tenosian maps, like, it makes sense that they look like that. They've always said, uh, Torn Banner, I mean, they've always said that chivalry is supposed to be like a Hollywood depiction of medieval yeah, yeah. warfare, not an actual depiction. So having, like, the classic desert is literally made out of tiny grains of sand and nothing mm -hmm. else is mm -hmm. pretty hollywood um but this map looks like afghanistan <laughs> so it's pretty cool. yeah it does it looks like seeing, uh, jerusalem yeah. or, or something that, that's why i said it reminded me of king of heaven but i love seeing yeah. that they put the time to put all the vegetation and just like stuff in there to make it look more interesting than just sand like because they could have gone I, completely lazy i went to this uh byzantine fort in uh israel and it looks exactly like that it reminded awesome. me so much and it was 
I mean, obviously the fort didn't look like that. It was pretty destroyed, but <laughs> um, it, and by the end of the map, it looked pretty similar. So, um, uh, yeah, I, I think the map looks really cool. From the but, clips I saw, the castle looked sick in the new map. Yeah, it, it, it kind of even reminds me you. a little bit of Fey Castle, how it has that tower on the left side. Yes. like like it looks very similar, but like from the outside. Like obviously the inside is vastly different, but it, it kind of reminded me of a similar structure. But what were you gonna say, Sauter? Sorry, the I interrupted. The test was only the TL map. We didn't get to see anything else in the new update. Yeah. Um. Besides the weapon. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't. I feel like the new free for all map probably doesn't need to be tested because it's not a new map. But <laughs> they said they changed it visually a little bit. They said they made it a lot more clear. Um. From the you know, nighttime, which people say is very annoying and Garbage. not really uh, <laughs> clear. So if they did make any significant change, I'm sure people will be happy with it. Um, I don't think they would make it worse. I, you can't make it worse. But all right. So we talked <laughs> about how the new the new map uh, looked. How did, how did it play to you guys? I, I've heard varying things. I, I had one of the, one of the nice uh, the nice ladies who comes into my TikTok chat said it's too fast. Uh, I'll let Sauter start on this one because I only played it with like less than 10 people on each side. So okay. my opinion of it is very, I, like, I understand that I was playing with not that many people. So I, I saw understand. your video was like six on six. <laughs> yeah. I, I only got into European servers while I was trying to get that video out And like, I was yes. like, it was in the middle of work and I was just like trying so, to get on. It was, it was, uh, you know, squirrely. So I'll let Sauter take the wheel and then i'll give my opinion maybe okay. after <clears throat> so there were tons of server issues um but i actually did get into quite a few games i streamed it for like over three hours i think um so i played it for quite a bit on loop the on the same map what a grinder <laughs> what a grinder yeah. um and i can say that it is a very short map this is a four stage map so there's only four objectives and with how chivalry is made, you know, the first objective is going to be pretty simple and pretty easy. So basically a three stage map. Um, this is shorter than Bridgetown. Like you're looking at a very small map. You can see the end of the map from spawn. It's I'm not going to lie. It's pretty disappointing. The objectives as well. Um, I would not call them creative. This is a plant. This is a move cart. Stage one plant petard. Stage two uh, press crank. Or sorry, turn crank stage three, and then plant bomb stage four. So two planting bomb objectives, um, and the the one throwaway objective. Each objective has a crazy long timer. I think like eight minutes each objective to kind of I guess let you stretch out that content. But in general, I think besides the visuals, this map is actually a pretty big disappointment. Um, people had the honeymoon phase with Bridgetown, and then a week after Bridgetown released, they said it was terrible. At least. From the people I, I said it to. was terrible from day one. <laughs> yeah, um, I, 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 you know, I, I talk, you know, so mainly the competitive crowd, as you know, and almost all of them hate it, um, to the point where they don't even want to play on it competitively. I leave They're servers just, when it yeah. comes up now in pubs. So, I actually heard even worse feedback from many wow. of the competitive players for this map, which is sad because. Even competitively, this feels like a a, a wash because the second objective seems like it's going to be really difficult to push for attack. They give you like an eight and a half minute long timer and the objective is incredibly defense sided with just two doorways with either one having a bomb that you need to plant and both of them being incredibly narrow. Like, I think it's like five, five or four players wide and that's the only entrance to plant the bomb. This is a very weird way they're doing things i think that they've actually moved um their workflow to in instead of giving us like two to maps a year they'll give us like four but all of them will be much smaller um and i think this also has the same issue of bridgetown where you get to the end and you thought that you were going to get to go on that end of the castle to play the next objective but it ends and this is the same way there's a big castle in the background and you're like i want to go into the final room and there's no final room nope. yeah so oh man i i don't know i mean it was it was not unfun to play i never felt like i was not having fun it's chivalry too it's it's good to you it was fun but at the same time it was so unbelievably short that it was like, what? We're not here for know. a long time. We're here for a good time. Exactly. That That's disappointing to hear 
because I, the most loved maps in Chivalry are like Rudhelm, Lion Spire, Galen Court, Aberfell, and those all are like a good solid 20 minutes plus. And that seems yes. to be the right amount of time for a Chivalry game, and it seems mm -hmm. we're going more towards 10 or 15 minutes, which is like just a quick I shot, know. and then you're, then you're switching it up. I, I don't like the design change. I don't like it either. People like TO because it feels like a long campaign, you know? Uh, like something that, that's like long running, not like TDM. We don't need to make TO more like the other game modes. We need it to stay as it is. People would want bigger maps, not smaller maps. That's yeah. really, really weird. Even if they did take longer, I think the majority of people would agree with me that they would rather have the style of, uh, let's say, Lion Spire. 100%. Uh, over this. Um, now... There was also a unique part at the end. Not a lot of people really are talking about it, but you know how that there's that one uh, structure on Gallancourt that you can break the statues of, and then it falls down, and the players can run on top of it. Mm. I don't know what to call it, like um, destructible. Yeah, I don't know yeah. environment. This, this final part of the map has quite a bit of destructible environment that covers the area, and then you could walk on top of it. I thought that was cool, but. The, you mean the, the rubble, the yeah, rubble yeah. after destroying the walls? Yes, with yes the exactly. There's a lot of parts that like can be covered in rubble um, that I don't know whether it's procedurally generated or not. It's obviously a scripted explosion, but uh, I don't know if the rubble itself is generated like that. I, kn I know that they're playing around with their engine and trying to include that in more aspects of maps because it looks cool, but I don't think players enjoyed walking on top of the rubble. I, I think anytime, it messed with the combat. Yeah. Anytime you fight on uneven ground in Chivalry, it just breaks the combat for whatever reason. I, this I've felt always... quite bad walking through rubble, uh, the rubble not exactly being level with where it was visually. It really did not look good. It was not a good presentation of the map. I don't even know if they could improve it significantly. I don't know if they will even try to, personally. Um, I thought it was cool. But, like, I don't know if that's going to be a novelty and it'll wear off or if it'll actually be, like, a unique part of the map, you know? People love Levolution in Battlefield uh, 1 and 4, uh, where, like, basically the map changes and you can actually interact with it in different ways. But at the same time, if it doesn't work, then yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, then it's it. an annoyance. Mm -hmm. When I remember when Battlefield 5 came out, you would be, like, running and you would hit a pebble, a tiny little pebble, and it all over, the pebbles would stop you, and it's just infuriating. I, I feel like <laughs> if you fight on the top of the Galen Court ones, that's kind of, like, what it feels like. It just throws everything yeah. janky. Or you off. run over one little ember and you let on fire. And you, Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just stuck. It, people don't do well with frustration, so we want to keep no. frustration to a minimum, and, and that's, you know, that's normal. So uh, I'm interested to hear that. I hope that's not the design philosophy going further. Because there are more and more not. maps in the game where I'm like, yeah, I don't want to play this one. I hope not. But the thing is, with these like corporations, they make it like a content roadmap, and then they fulfill that roadmap like for the whole year, and then they'll make another one. They don't really yeah. like retroactively change design plans midway through. So I don't know if like basically all of 2023 is just tiny TO maps. I hope not. Like, because even like the Call of Duty game, they would, um, uh, when they do maps, they'll kind of mix up small maps and large maps to keep everyone happy and kind of alternate. So, I'm hoping maybe the next one is going to be the grand, the grand scale, the Galen Court level of epic. But I, I don't need another they don't have short much time map. left in the year. I mean, if they wanted well, an update by Christmas. I don't think that's reasonable. You don't think that's going to happen? I'm. I feel like I'm almost guaranteed they're going to do a Christmas update because they always have. No, and I think they're going to they do the snowballs and all that stuff. Yeah, and I, I, I think they will. I'm just I saying. Believe I believe every will, year it came with content. I don't think it will leave time for a giant map. Is what I'm saying. Virgin, okay. Yeah. Not, like I think like the most reasonable thing is that they're going to make another uh, Montcrux. By the way, so, uh, Reclamation of Montcrux is the name of the map. If you care, <laughs> um, it is an Agatha versus Tenosia map. It, it did feel fun, but it felt so short, and it's. I just hope that's not a permanent design change in team objective. Me, me too. I'm, I'm curious if they've gone the full corporate thing where they have some sort of like data or analytics on how long people like quit out or something, and that's why they're making the maps a certain length. I hope, I hope that's not the case. Yeah, um, it, it all around just leaves the map feeling less impressive, you know, than yeah. the larger maps, and. It, you know, we'll always commend them on making visually
beautiful maps. Um, but this map, it is nice, but it doesn't have any unique objectives. When Aberfell came out, you know, you're stealing pigs and then you're pushing stones and then you're killing druids. In this map, you're just planting bomb and mm-hmm. then moving cart and then planting bomb again. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It and, seems uh, like we're and, we're yeah. running out of ideas or something. Mm-hmm. But, and, that's hey, always what they do. Hey, you're, you're, you're turning cranks, though. In you the middle do. there, oh, you're yeah, turning you're turn cranks. Right. Hey, come on, come good on. Times, it's a new, it's a new objective. Spin the wheel. Come on. It, uh, they had that in it's a, a classic, thing, right? <laughs> and it's like they're, they're reclaiming a fort, but they're also blowing the shit out of it. So <laughs> we're, we're taking over the castle to blow yeah, it up. We're taking over the castle. They blow up like three different walls, and then they take out all the foundation, and then they break down every. Well, door. let's like, oh be honest. God. Everything looks a little bit destroyed already on right? the castle. Yeah. Might as well finish the job. No, like objective. Like it was. It, I, I think. Or something? I think the story might be that it's like a military point. It's like not where people live. I think it's like a. Yeah, of course. It's it's a. I think a what I got from the dev it, blog was I think it changes hands a lot. Like there's yeah, like yeah, it's like attacked. It, it, like even before the speech, it's like you're here on this battleground. Many battles have been fought, or something like that. I don't know. I think it's it has some history to it, right? There's always battles there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the cool I thought thing I found there was bandages on the tables, and they resupplied your bandages. Very oh, minor. Oh, that's thing. pretty cool. That's pretty yep. cool. There's like also a, like surgeon knives. Did you see the room in yeah, there that had like bodies laying? Up. There was like a surgeon table. Yeah, um, you can't cool. pick up the surgeon knife. That's a, that's a no. You can you, you can. can. There, you okay. can pick mm-hmm. up a knife. Yeah, there was a knife, and it even had. I think it had a different skin that I, I don't know if I've seen that skin before. It might have been. Um, it, it it looked like a curved dagger with, with that was like ornate. It had patterns ornate. on it. I, okay. I don't know. That's how I'd describe it. It looked. I don't know. I picked. I picked up a knife once uh, when I was playing, but I, I um, thought that I thought that the map. Um, I mean, the besides the first objective, running, I immediately ran into a pile of rubble, which was on fire, which was un- invisible to me. Uh, the fire, yeah. <laughs> like there was like a tiny thing. And then um, I see a big problem where uh, the bat- oh, like no. way too oh, far oh, from. Oh, oh, you're good. Well, not parts, really. Right. You're lagging out, Scotty. Not. I'm lagging out. I think Scotty. you're good now. Make the Hello? hamster run. Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> I'm good. Dude, my internet's been fucking all over yeah. the place. Sorry. Get uh, this man, some some fiber optic, uh, you know, files. <laughs> Dude, I need it. I need it. I'm sorry. Um. Anyways, I, I think the petard is so far away from the second objective. I don't like it. Seemed, maybe it seemed that way because there weren't a lot of players, but like. I, did, I, I felt like the run up to the castle reminded me of Thaic, but except in Thaic, you're pushed into a narrow passage up the mountainside, whereas this one, it's more open. So, you know, you have less possibility of just being fed into ballistas, which could be better. But like, it felt like the distance from the petard to the wall was a little bit long. And then, yeah, I agree with pretty much everything that Sauter said, except, you know, I don't, I didn't really feel like the rebel really mattered that much, especially since it's the last objective in knocking down one, you'll be fighting for just a little bit longer, maybe on that rubble. But I agree that whenever there is some elevation differences, it sucks for the combat. It, it just doesn't like the Aberfell as well yeah. has that. Um, but really, like, you know, the main thing that I've heard is there needs to be another last objective. And I really thought that we were going to go into that large tower that's positioned on the left side of the castle as you're looking at it. You always think there's um, more objective on these new maps. Yeah. And then just I, one more, and, one more. Well, to be honest, I actually think that Bridgetown is going to be better than this map for sure. And I, I don't know. The last objective of Bridgetown I've found lately <laughs> is kind of fun, actually. Like, uh, at first. least it's fun. But like. This map, I felt like I felt the same way. It yeah, was very much down. like, is there's going to be another thing? We're blowing up yeah, another thing to peasants, push into this you know? castle, and then it just ends. I, and I will like, say, at least for Bridgetown, which I think the map is terrible, but they do have that creative torn banner stage. Yeah, yeah, dude. Um, at least, at yeah. least, and I like the market area where everyone is just swinging at the carts and yes. it's chaotic. The, and this map has no personality once you break into the castle, and mm-hmm. then. There's no Tunisian leader. 
which I really wanted to see. Dude, um, I was already which telling I my was, boys, I want a Tenosian VIP with dual wielding, Dual wielding cavalry yeah, swords. A du- a, a, <laughs> imagine a Qatar, yeah. a Qatar uh, leader with some weird, yes. like, something it, it cool. It shouldn't be that you know? much harder to have the same objective, but just have a VIP come out a door or something. Just like Argon <laughs> no, does. Well, well, okay, so when you're, like, right after that rubble stage, right, there's actually a desertion zone that's right up to where the like that big tower is that you can't go in and there's this big like step right um which kind of reminds me of Thay castle where there's the barricades it's almost like the step that you can't pass and i was always expecting like a vip to come out of those doors so same and thing then people step said about down, Bridgetown, right? but they expected that they could go to that they, one little segment in the back and they can't Br- Bridgetown but i, I don't needed. think the fat I mean, drunk noble, and you have to protect him as he runs away. That's that, what they that, would, that would be That's cool with no needed. weapons. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, but yeah. Like, I, he's I just still fat think, and slow with a ton of health. I still think that Bridgetown is um, <clears throat> still pretty good, though. It's like the last objective is still pretty fun, though. Tossing the nobles. They could have done a better job. Like having a fat noble would be cool, but like. To this map just feels like there's cool. nothing, man. It's just like, okay, another blow up stage and we're done. And it feels a little lazy at the end, but the map is beautiful. Um, I like how many passages and corridors. Obviously, I couldn't play it with more people. I wish I could to really experience the feel of the castle as you're running in. Um, but, you know, yeah, uh, that's my opinion. Right? I don't, I don't want to dwell on it too much because run a time crunch yeah, but no other yeah stuff. no 100 percent. and look that's uh it's also a different experience in the test server where everyone's good so sometimes the opinion yeah, after yeah. the test server can be a little bit different yeah and everyone is level uh, like uh, yeah. 500 plus and when, whenever like, i've done test a servers, competitive player yeah. like yeah i literally know, know everyone in the lobby <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah. it's, it's, it's just yeah, a complete of yeah, what it's gonna play it's yeah, it's just so, like Aberfeld sucked ass when it came out, but it, they made it a better map. Hopefully, you know. I always liked Aberfeld. I always well, liked when Aberfeld it first came out, it had a ton of problems. I think like that everyone would just end at the tower. Like there was a ton yeah, of yeah, yeah. I remember it, it was but, really but the, hard to get to the past Aberfeld tower. is one of my most loved maps now. Me too. I um, love it. Yeah, and uh, it, it came out really bad at first, but they fixed it, and it feels like a map that I'm excited to play now. And I hope that maybe they do the same but yeah, we'll see well, you know, we'll see maybe right. it'll take time to well, cook on top of new things we have the abomination that is the siege crossbow <laughs> and i i was dreading this thing's entry Bruh. into the game i, I well the, it, ba- it barely worked it barely worked on that it was shooting itself um because you'll notice that when it hit um so its main power right is shooting through uh player constructed barriers right and it it would make this animation where it like kind of like had this these wood splinters that would that would come off when it, whenever it hits something and it would do it to itself like when i was shooting the bow i felt like it would hit itself and and not even fire a projectile sometimes but like you know, it, it it needs to be fixed. It needs to be worked on. It's a PTR. All right. but well, I, Scott, Scotty admitted to using it. Please put him on the wall of shame on my Discord. <laughs> I used it. What do you mean, dude? What do you Listen, mean? Strider out of himself. Is, this is going to be the best archer weapon edition in the game. It is going to get archers to not shoot at players. I don't know how you can't be satisfied. This uh, I mean, weapon- satisfied. I, I haven't seen it yet, so... I, oh, the I'll only thing I heard details. from people is that it's not as oppressive you, as you'd we even hear. play it in a PTR. Not at all. Come it on, is. Dude. It is. It does sixty damage, um, blood damage bonus. And so it, it does has, more against knights. Yes, just like the normal crossbow. Um, it doesn't have nearly as much DPS as the normal crossbow. It has this very weird delay on when you can shoot it after aiming in. It takes quite a long time to shoot. The reload time is actually pretty generous. Still slower than the crossbow. Um, in general, this thing is not going to be very oppressive in terms of its ability to kill people, but it does 120 damage to constructibles, and if it breaks a constructible with the shot, it will pass through um, and hit players through it with the damage done to the second uh, thing that it hits being slightly reduced. Um, so, like, let's say it breaks something and goes through them. I think it does, like, 40-something damage mm-hmm. to a player. Um, overall, this is a really good thing. Because it's going to get archers to have a unique uh, job taking down catapults, 
ballistas, okay. banners, constructibles, uh, walls, etc. Does not break objectives, by the way, so it doesn't do that. So I was gonna ask. So like, does it work on like the catapults? You need to shoot like the the doors on Dark Forest and stuff like that. It works on probably them? the the catapults on Dark Forest. I don't know. Okay. Basically, if if it's a catapult, yes. If it's a catapult for an objective. Uh, tentative. <laughs> I don't Ten- know. Yeah, I'm, that's that was my biggest thing when I heard what it does. I'm like, which objective in the game is going to break? No, Are people going to yeah, be shooting like, the was, banners on Lionspire from a mile was only, away? No, I no, thought it was they, only they player can. made stuff, though. Right? No, it can shoot no? catapults. It's up. Okay. I have a video already made for it, but it's like sitting in my unlisted until the update comes out, mm-hmm. and I have footage. You can break ballistas, you can break catapults, and okay. you can break walls. Um, and this is really good. Because it gives the archer some cool utility that will have them not shooting you. So I'm happy. That's just less archers that annoy people um, while still making them useful to the team. So Well, in, in addition to this, we're getting the aim assist reduction, which yes, I think m- may also help with that. So maybe, I, I'm maybe you're onto something. I'm inside about that. I'm, I'm, a, so I'm a little funny. confused. They don't give a visualization of aim assist and how it works before or how it will work after. So you just have to go off of their extremely weirdly worded uh, patch notes. From what I gathered, it will only affect aim assist on targets when you're extremely close because it says that it's only going to affect the rotation of an arrow when it is very close to leaving the weapon. What does that even mean? I don't know. So... I, I just gathered from it that the arrows aren't going to curve to people now. So they're like, yeah, we see the videos. We got caught. It's bullshit. We know. We're taking that out. Yeah, it's arrow magnetism yeah. is what they called it. Like, um, like, okay. it. It works like bullet magnetism in Halo. So yeah, yeah it works cool. exactly the same. <laughs> Where if you shoot at someone and your reticle was closer to them, it'll, you know, move over. We, it, might be a little <laughs> it just, yeah. it it just yeah. does a 180, you know. Yeah, it's different from aim assist because, you know. Aim assist yeah. moves your crosshair. This magnetism doesn't move the crosshair, but I think they get both. So what do I? Mean? And yeah, I, and they said they're gonna tone down aim assist. So I'd imagine that means it'll just lock on a little bit less. I, have you? I think you guys have seen some of those Reddit clips of someone just not even aiming and shooting into a crowd, and he's just like hitting shot after shot after shot with yeah, the aim assist. So thing, I am hoping. I think the aim assist is more uh, aggressive when you shoot an arrow that isn't pulled back all the way. But okay. I don't know if that's true. Don't quote me on that. I, I don't know. I've I've never used it. I I I was dying laughing, making like shorts and and TikToks about it because there's so many salty archers who didn't even know they were being given that they had aim assist. That's how bad this demographic of players is. They didn't know it was know. in there. I don't, I don't know how you can not know. I don't know how. Archer players, man. <laughs> I, I mean, literally, the, you, you we've all been in lobbies. You you had that mob of them, and you run behind the whole, the whole lot of five of them, and they all stand there as you just club one after the other, and no one turns around or notices. I mean, yeah, it's, it's called. Rat, rat, I call them rat kings because they're just <laughs> they're just all together and then all they in try a pack. to scatter, but they can't. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I don't know. We'll have to see really how much that bullet magnetism is reduced. Uh, hopefully it doesn't They said feel... they removed it completely. I mean, as they should. <laughs> the arrow so the shouldn't be curving. Crossbow? You either, the arrow should go. Is, is there still, it, hits it, it, it hits sounded the like there might be a little bit of aim assist though. There's still going to be maybe? aim assist. Yeah. Like, of course so, it's still going to be there. Yeah. yeah. So. Which, which. Yeah, you know, rightfully so. They need a little aim assist. They just don't need to be aiming for them. Like, there's got to be a fine line. Of course. Yeah. Like, when I was growing up in games, like, aim assist was so mild. Like, if you saw old, like, SOCOM clips, I mean, internet wasn't as good, too. You'd see people running around in circles, like, emptying clips and reloading each other from 10 feet away. Like, just no one could hit shit. There was no crossplay. There was no crossplay, yeah. Yeah. Like, I think, uh, for the Siege crossbow, good weapon addition... Did it deserve to be the only weapon edition? No. Not even close. No one wants an archer weapon as the only weapon for six months. Or longer, depending on when we get the next update, right? Um, so, I don't think it deserves to be added by itself. Just like I don't think the warbow deserves to be added by itself. But I don't think it will be bad for archer. I think it'll be a very healthy addition for the game. Well, hopefully we get another weapon whenever the next update is, which I'm still dreaming that december in my mind will be it i'll be unhappy with anything else but hopefully because the siege crossbow has been finished for ages 
Maybe it yeah. was. Just, I'm hoping it was just like a throw in addition to the patch. I mean, they've made like a pretty good status quo of a weapon each update, and yeah. no less, no more. You know, one weapon each update, one weapon each update every time. So next update, we're probably gonna get one weapon, golden dog, and then. I, I really time. want something to be like a weapon that excites me, and I don't. I don't feel like we're getting that anytime soon. This is the year of very mild weaponry. Dude, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the golden I, dog. I, the golden dog. I, I didn't know we were allowed to say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah well, we we did not leak. It. We did not leak it, but it has been leaked. But uh, yeah, a, a stick good. with a spike gives me zero. Like I, I have no motivation. I'll play it when it comes out. Better than it looks Bo, sick. But yeah, I'll probably sick. never use it again after it that. It looks sick. Well, Scotty loves everything. All right. <laughs> Dude, like, I don't like that. Ah, with a stick. I, it, <laughs> I, I like squirrely time. things. I like yeah. squirrely things, man. And it's, it like looks a like it's uh, it looks squirrely, dude. And uh, I, I might enjoy it. Dave, do you think the the new bow will get much play, or <clears throat> the um, archers will still favor the war bow crossbow? Probably not in pubs because it's just a crossbow, but with less DPS. So you know, but in TO, I'm sorry, in a comp TO, probably. Probably. I, I'm I'm still waiting to find out that it has something game breaking with the objectives. Yeah, and knowing them, it might actually do I, damage. I, I objectives. feel like I can see this. Yeah, I, I could I could see a lot of TO objectives being a little bit broken I, down. I'm telling you um, with it, but we'll see. You know, I, we'll see how it plays out. I visualize fucking Sundar a mile away from the objective, shooting the banners on Lion Spire. I like, think in general <laughs> it will be worse than Crossbow because Cheesing them. It, it can't one shot archers. That was mm -hmm. really hoping it would. But it doesn't. Um, Even with a headshot? He, I, well, with a headshot, yes. Um, but it, it gets less like arrows out overall. And the thing is, if you didn't know, you get your banner by getting headshots. So that means you're getting your banner slower. And a big reason why people play crossbowmen is to get banners very quickly. Because a good crossbowman will get their banner very quickly. Um, so getting your banner slowly, doing less DPS overall... Um, in general, I don't see it being a very strong pick, but at the same time, doing 90 damage to a knight in the body, it's almost like, uh, it's almost like the engineer of archers, uh, yes. like aggressive engineer of archers, right? Like yeah, you pick I'm, it to be offensive against in, in certain situations. Yeah. I think it's a really good, uh, weapon addition. All right. All right. All right. So we have, uh, we have changes to the matchmaking and to me, these are the biggest, additions that we have to the game in this patch and the thing i'm most excited for and i'm going to take a bit of credit for the first one because tdm get it out of here out of 64 players moon moon watched me cry about it for the last six months on stream and they, they finally answered the call thank god i'm sad well i uh i think it's going to be better that it's completely out but i've always held the belief that they should have just reduced the tickets because when am i gonna take a leak when am I gonna go to the bathroom? When at the loading screen? How long? Yeah. You, how long it take to go? It's gotta... Bro, you get like thirty seconds between games, <laughs> dude. When am I gonna take my leaks? You know, my chat knows I I go to the bathroom often. No, I'm, you I'm gotta, just kidding, you gotta but... hit it at you gotta hit it at a sprint in between. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, I I like the like the little bit of intermission maybe in between like long stretches of tos, but that's only if you're on the same server for a while. I think overall it's gonna be better that they completely remove it. Um, and they're moving uh, the 52 man uh, in into a 40 man mix mode, which I yes. want to know Sodder's just opinion deleting of. 52 man. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't know that they were actually like someone in my chat the other night brought it up that it's not going to be 52, it's going to be 40, but it's still going to be the same mixed modes, but just 40 man. And I'm wondering your opinion, Sodder, but I think it's because it's maybe. Good. Maybe yeah, you think it's better. Um, I, I, I already I already made tons of threads, as you know I did when I had my uh, when I had my stay in that server. Um, haven't made any lately. <laughs> I, yeah, right. I begged them to consolidate uh, fifty two player and forty player. I literally told them pick one, pick one, keep it, delete the other. There's no point. It's useless. Um, there is no like crowd out there begging for exactly fifty two players. Right. Most people either want less players for more impact on an individual scale or more players for the chaos, right? How all the, everyone loves the chaos. So 
52 players served no purpose. It also had a much smaller map rotation. Mounted Warfare only had maps with horses on them. So you basically didn't have Dark Forest. You didn't have Lion Spire until the last update. You didn't have a lot of maps, a lot of maps that people really like. So uh, it really just, it was useless. Another question though is uh, how populated were the um, 52 man servers? Uh, were they um, not were they no, like they were terribly populated at peak hours it was fine finding a lobby but you could say that about most so games. it was pretty much already 40 men is the, what yeah 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 it, it basically okay. um, that, that's the, what i wanted to the ask mounted like, warfare lobbies it was a lot of a lot of noobs always they were really soft lobbies yeah um in general i like how 40 players are going to do it they're basically going to have all the maps and the whole ones that have horses as a possibility will have horses and the ones that don't won't uh, it's really the better way of doing it. This is kind of a bittersweet change because I've been begging for a TL only mode as well. Um, Chivalry 1 had TO only as an option. You could just join a TO server. And it's very strange that this game took two years to allow you to play TO without TDM. That is like absurd to me. And this is going to be one of those changes where once people have it, they're going to be like, how did I live without it? I, I, I don't agree. think it's that absurd. I don't think it's that absurd, but I really, think they get, I think, okay, so you know what? I'll, okay, so this is why it's not absurd, okay? So during the beta, do you remember when they had uh, the arena map with all the traps? I always forget the name of it, whatever. Fighting Pit? Yeah, it had like 100 tickets, and I was like, oh my god, this is great. It's only 100 tickets. It's like an intermission. And then yeah. everyone complained that it should be longer, and I was like, no, I fuck think- you guys. I think when the game when the game released, people didn't complain about the TDM because there was much less actual team objective maps, so it could get a little stale when you're going Falmire, Dark yeah, Horse, Lions, Fire, Rudhelm, Coxwell, and right back to the beginning. Now fair, we have but... a pretty big library of the better maps, so you don't necessarily get to play all the TO maps in one play session. So it's not like you're going like someone like you who plays a few hours straight. But when the game came out, you'd hit the full rotation three times in a play session. Now you might You're not right. get all the maps. Period. I have a much simpler complaint. Let's just say you don't like TDM. Or let's even say you're crazy and you don't like TO. Wouldn't you just like <clears> yeah, play but, the but game you, mode you like without playing the other game yep. mode? Well, but you also got to consider thing. the player pool, dude. Like the player pool is everything that limits Shiv2's capabilities. That I don't believe that but, that's a fair argument because you can play arena without anything else you can play free for all without anything else you can play lts without anything else you tell me lts is a big player pool hell no yeah. so well, you could totally uh argue for to only. yeah but now i gotta play 40 man if i want a little bit of mixed games <sighs> you know now i gotta now i gotta reduce yeah, I, the play I, 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 like, I like i think that's good I if you want if you want variety you're, you're gonna get variety i told there. moon moon that was stupid too scotty right but he just didn't agree he's like 40 players the new home of tdm and that's fine right um, but the way I would have it is I would have TO, TDM, LTS, and even FFA. And I would have all four of those on the home screen. And then I would have a little button that you could click for 64 or 40. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I would have to look at the player pools, man. I mean, they, they well, reduced the, thing the is, two man to 40 already. If, it, if it's like, put out there, you find out very quickly if people want to play it. So yeah, very, very if, if you put it out yeah. there for a while, you'll you'll know within a week or two if yeah. there are people who want to play the mode. I've also and said as a as my an feeling is an option, it would die um, quickly. <laughs> I would appreciate a TO only server. So, for example, or a TDM only server, right in the server browser. But why do the server browser servers have to be mixed modes, right? If I'm going in the server browser, I can click on free for all if I want to play only free for all. Why can't I do the same for TO? And I, you're still I, not going to be able yeah. to after this update. I still never understood why the quick play servers are different than the browser. It would have solved so many no problems idea. through the years if we could just, hey, the party system doesn't work. I'm in this server. I, I think it's because numbers join. they, they want to avoid uh, everyone joining. Um, I think they wanted to make it harder to team stack and shit, you know, like um, especially when you're streaming or something. If you press tab, everyone knows what server you're on. They're all gonna go. It's just gonna be. Yeah, yeah. Cl- I, I think that's the main reason. I mean, but, I mean, there. But I agree. Yeah. I, it should be similar to Mortal, right? Where yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I kind of, I kind of agree, and I kind of disagree. Um, no. I mean, I under, for for me, I understand that because I try to avoid the server browser browser while I'm live. Because then yeah. I get mobbed, but yeah, but yeah. I, I do. Uh, I I want to give Torn Banner a little bit of credit here because I felt like Mounted Warfare stayed in the game so long because of stubbornness 
the whole we put the time and effort into putting it in the game so we're going to continue with it no matter what i feel like they finally said okay enough is enough the players seem to have mostly rejected the mode if it's not in the 64 so we're, we're gonna we're gonna call it at here we're gonna admit the loss and we're gonna keep them in the 40 and we're gonna move on with our lives and I hope it was now focus implemented on the, the flagship as a half mode. measure. It was implemented as a half measure. It was never actually implemented. The most popular game mode, they never even bothered putting it in. When they did add it, there was like 12 horses on the map at the same time. Some absurd number. Imagine if you were playing Battlefield and there were six tanks that rolled up on you. You would get pissed. Um, on top of that, there was only like, what, three maps with horses on them when they started? Maybe. Yeah. It, and that was uh, Askendir, Bodwin, and Wardenglade bruh yeah which, <laughs> what a joke yeah. and so even on, after that mounted warfare still managed to be a joke with only one horse map being added uh every like three or four months generally it has never received any type of actual support and even and now they're actually implementing it in the way that i would have where it's just the maps without horses don't have them and the maps with horses have them have and you're just playing one rotation of maps instead of having right. only horse maps and only non-horse maps i feel like some of the horse map additions too were square peg round hole like they riding them down those tight little passages oh, yeah. just feel it feels horrible that's not yeah well horses just, or cavalry charge i mean happen. we gotta be honest the horses they prop they advertise the game as maybe making it a main staple but it, it became an afterthought in the development it process. Did. It 100% that, did. And that's, that's the truth. Like it just that's, that's something I'll come in Bridgetown and Moncrex for. They designed the horses around the gameplay, and when there's an objective that does not suit them, the horses don't spawn on that objective. So over time, I feel like they've gotten smarter with it, but it's basically too little, too late. Everyone hates them now. They don't want them. They don't like them. So I, I feel like... They they were in the announcement trailer of the game, so I feel like it was like a day one roadmap thing, and they just weren't able to implement them. And by the time they got them in, the players were already used to how exactly they were playing exactly. And then it became an afterthought because now it's uh, shit. We got to maintain. Yep. Uh, we got to maintain. And it the became realities. If you, you know, development is like develop like a co the train is on fire, and you have to add. You have to put out <laughs> fires while adding new trains that are becoming on mm -hmm. fire. It, it, that's the development and cycle of if any software. Uh, I, I feel like I've played enough games to know that horses are also one of the most difficult things to implement in any game. Like <clears throat> outside of Red Dead Redemption, when has I don't it know. really I, been Mountain done Blade, well? Mountain Blade and other games do horses well. I mean, more horse? how horses were also okay to me oh, too. Oh, those were terrible, man. Terrible. Like I hated them. I, I, hate I them. felt like for the time they're not bad. Dude. I, I, I felt it. like they just felt. I, I felt like you're you're just overall. a horse noob, dude. You're a horse noob, dude. You should have seen. <laughs> you should have seen me out there, dude. I, I was a cavalier. I was a cavalier. <laughs> Scotty All with right. the bad <laughs> leading the charge. No, no, they're they're definitely jank, but you can get used to the jank. And I feel that, like, that's what I'm talking. Uh, they're hard. Uh, they're, they're hard not to be jank. Yeah. Like, how yeah, many games have had non janky horses? Very few. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I like the Mordhau horses, but for the time they were good. But you know, they're not perfect. I, you're right. Any horses in well, any games are always kind of jank, but. Well, on on the hop, on the topic of horses, we do have mounted combat one v one arena coming. A little bit of jousting. Uh, I'm I'm kind of excited for it. I'm it's it's going to be a it. mode just like uh, volley in in uh, LTS. Right? It'll be in okay. the arena queue. Yeah, you will spawn on tournament grounds. There will be a, a guy on the other side on his horse. You're going to be on your horse. Um, you start out using lances, I think then uh sword yeah. and shield and then cavalry sword and i think it's first to five rounds one is the winner and cool i mean yeah i think that's the I'm, place I'm to put it to do it yeah. yeah i'm gonna be down to play this is gonna be the I, first time i'm actually gonna be a little excited to I'm, play I'm excited one of those for it. things but and like it's gonna be another afterthought kind of thing i where think it's, it's just the like best limited shit. time event yeah yeah, yeah. So i'm gonna the, be excited to play, really play it probably for one play session i'll probably spend about an hour of time in there have Yeesh. a good time and then yeah. i'll feel like i've i've done my my part and i'm ready to move on back to the normal game mode but what, yeah what i would like them to do with these limited time events i'd like them to get a little bit more creative there's a lot of mods that were really fun in chivalry one and like they could bring those limited time events and it would be so easy 
Hey, hey, I, I, this one's at least got a little creativity to it, yeah, but I agree. We, we need, like it's better than volley. Yeah, what, like, yes. what about giant slayers, right? Where you kill someone and you gain some of their health? That's real. They're sorry, some of their height. They, they could That's do like weapon funny. game every time. Yeah, yeah. Someone yeah. Who switches Sword your game? weapon, dude. Yeah. Dude, what are you so so talking about? about? That's way too complex. That's oh, way too complex. Dude, the modders made it in like a day. <laughs> yeah, a I, day. Know, <laughs> I know. I know. I oh, know. I'm just poking fun but yeah you know, it, dude, it, it would, would be would dope be so i agree easy, dude. everyone I, would be like holy shit they would, they would instantly click that button it would yeah be, yeah be crazy yeah. well the thing with the limited time modes is it's supposed to be as you guys said a, a different thing a special thing and we've got in free for all lts volley two of those modes were already in the game <laughs> Yep. So yeah, it's really yeah. just we've only got in volley, but now we'll get mounted one v one in the rotation and last peasant standing. That I'm excited for that too. That's yes. that's what I want to see. It's something different. It's something cool, and I think it's something that'll be fun in a uh, in small quantities. I think that that will actually be a very fun game mode, um, even if it is just LTS. But you spawn in as a peasant with peasant weapons. That sounds funny. That sounds really fun. It, it, so it sounds hilarious. Cool. Like you spawn in with cucumbers and pickles, and like, all right. This is what I got. I'll kill someone. Take they. They got a chair. I'm gonna pick that up and now go around sharing people. It sounds like it'll be fun in short. That doses. sounds like it has like a little it. bit more staying power than brawl or volley. I I could see people really enjoying the last peasant standing. I I and I I like I the idea. Yeah, but that I don't know. That's kind of on the same level as brawl to me as well. It's like um, it I don't know. It I, I I I think having like what Sada was saying, the shiv one mods. Like some weird yeah. stuff. Very you know? easy like, ones. Yeah, Black Knight mode, where it's just all of your <laughs> limbs come off, uh, like yeah. very easily, right? If someone hits your limb, it comes off, and you can live instead of like dying. That was so funny. Ha seeing these little nuggets run around with no legs or arms, it was hilarious. So easy to make. Giant Slayer. I you still kill someone. You gain their height. For, easy for the to short make. time that I played Shiv One, the my favorite mod that I was exposed to was. Like it just randomized a weapon for each team. It was maces versus sure. you know yep. long force, sword, uh, and everyone mode, like, fights. Like that was yeah. sick to me. Just force anything and mode. easy. Yeah. All yeah. of these things are like something that you would actually want to play more than once. Yeah, and they haven't even attempted it. And it's like, why? But I telling you, it's gotta be. It's gotta be the spaghetti code. They. they it's gotta be spaghetti to code, breaks. and yeah. it's it in low key, low key maintenance mode, man. Low key, um, God, low key I, I maintenance mode. I always go back to it. I mean, it. That's what it seems like a, a little bit sometimes. Said this a bunch right? of times. I hope not, unless they announce Shiv Three. But I feel like, in my opinion, it's too soon for Shiv Three. So. Yeah. Or the Lord of the Rings version of uh, all Shiv right, then all is forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. That would be dope, though. But uh, I, I don't know a anything. But yeah, I, I think if that actually happened after all our jokes about it, you'd have me on here with like tears of joy coming, bro, down your face. <laughs> bro. Uh, oh, you couldn't get me. You more guys know they're at 120 them. developers now. 120. Oh, wow. Yes, 120 wow. developers. Wow, that's that's insane i mean for whatever people say they must be raking in money somehow to, to have 120 people on staff that's that's pretty how many people are buying skins like i feel like they haven't even pushed that really at all well i mean even from the base game i'm sure that, i mean how many copies did they sell over a million or something like that or isn't it something act actually crazy like uh i think i'm sure a million it's something or something crazy. two million copies sold Two million. So what is and that? 80, was... 80 million If it's priced at you know with taxes, so maybe they no raked idea. in 40, 40 mil or thirty five mil. The that's... publisher gets to take their lovely cut. Yeah, require. that's yeah, yeah. So yeah, and Steam takes a cut, and I'm sure it's probably reduced to like thirty mil. You know, after yeah. taxes. Which... So well, I mean, that's enough. They've grown their uh, studio size. I don't know over quadruple what it was when the game was first launched from 25 something devs to 120 uh they definitely made money and it just begs a lot of questions but yeah yeah i, I mean i think with 120 people they're obviously working on something they have either their people in place to start something or like it's got to be even if it's not a related game a lot of a lot of developers when they start getting bigger they try to push different genres they don't want to just be hey we're only known for this we can do this too so they originally named their company torn banner because they said they wanted to be a company that made more than chivalry 
That is the reason they named themselves Torn Banner instead of Chivalry Studios. So let's see if that is actually I, true. I personally, if they stuck to we only make medieval games, I would be interested in seeing what other idea they had. Yeah, that's fine. As you as know. long as it didn't affect but, uh, Shiv. I'm, ju- I'm just I'm just going off your point. You know, they like yeah that yeah no 100%. other games other games besides Chivalry is part of the original vision of the company's creation. So we'll see That's, if that com- takes off. Companies always want to expand and grow themselves, and they have all these meetings where they talk about their future, and, you know, this stuff always comes up. We don't want to be just limited to this, even though you're really good at this. <clears throat> and a lot of times they fail when they do other things, so I hope that's not the case. I, I hope we don't get, like, an FPS shooter coming out <laughs> in, like, 2025. <laughs> oh, God. But... Look, I, I'm I'm interested because well we have a lot of medieval games in the works. I don't think we have anything coming out soon. That's no, that's I don't that's think the so. thing. So I, I don't think so. Um the closest thing I would believe is Renown's early access stage. Um and, but even I don't think that's uh I don't think it's very close. Um No, it's it's, it's not close. Far. It's not close. From having played it and, and they're the game I'm the most confident will get to a release point of the ones I played because I see them actively developing it and seeing the progress. A lot of the other games that look so great, we've never really seen actual people in there playing. So, uh, we've seen people playing Mobius. Mobius had a recent play test. It was closed, not open. Mm-hmm. Um, and everyone's saying that it's quite enjoyable. Um, it was an offline play test where you could just see the mechanics and everything, not actual PVP, but at least they know that there's a video game there. Okay. I'll, I'll have to get in touch with them and get them to send me over a copy. <laughs> I uh I, I've been looking into the a lot of the indie games just for stuff to make content on. So I'm I'm hoping we get something and I want to get more people on the cast. So I put I've thrown out some feelers to some of them. We got some interested parties. I need I need a taker to get some more different games on here. Because I think that's some of the best times we have is when we have developers who are willing yeah, to I talk. I want to start here. throwing shade to uh for honored YouTubers and TikTokers. I just want to say like yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I <laughs> I, I knew so I, I've got to the point with content creation. I kind of know when a video or something has a shot of doing real well, and I knew trashing for honor would have a shot of getting people pissed off and and getting some good engagement. And it, it did. It worked. It worked. A lot of people very upset that I said that for honor is that trash. game has a cult following. It does. Like no other. Which is fine. Now you got a pissed off cult in my comments, and you got other people championing have, the cause. I have Yo, you're just a hours. for honor noob, dude. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, dude, no. I, yeah. Uh, get good. How That's many hours good. you got? <laughs> but, yo, I, I don't need a lot of hours to play that game and say this is dog shit. I've played many good games. I've been Listen, gaming for a hell of a long time. I have over 400 hours in for honor. Oh yeah, I I, I know Dave is probably top ranked. I could probably no, set, tell any of those guys. I'm like, ranked. go one v one, Dave, and he'll fuck you up and then I, call your game dog shit. I wasn't top ranked. Uh, but it definitely is not worth it. At least I we can just... say their devs host official tournaments to a degree. So, hey, I've said it many times. Everything about the great game looks amazing, except when you play it. Which is why I um, want a medieval it, slasher from it's, them. It's See not it, the genre that like they advertise it as. They advertise it as this cool melee game. It's a fighting game. It's a yeah, that is what it is. 100%. It's a hard fight. It's literally Mortal Kombat. You know, Street Fighter, but like multiplayer with more than one, more than one v ones. It is right. truly yeah. a funny game. All right, anyway, boys, we got we got five minutes before we got to get Dave off to the MCL. So, do we have any nope. questions in the in the chats coming in that we'd we'd like to uh, we'd like to answer? Anything everyone has on? Should I got a, I, I just have a funny comment from oh, Nomadic. Boy. He says, "Man, they really got 120 janitors." <laughs> Dude, that's <what> I, said. <laughs> I got one too. 120 oh, people days. can't even fix the game. Oh my days! <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. said a million times that they got 80 custodians. I've said that so much, and everyone's like. Um, it's just but they actually they use the word developers there they didn't say 120 employees they said 120 developers i'm sure not yeah. all of them are actual developers but still that's crazy the fact that they've grown so much yeah kudos to them i don't really have any questions here besides uh what's yep, your coke freestyle order boys. lime coke or peach sprite <laughs> uh, i don't know nemco i don't, Battle I don't know battle bit made Nem- by three devs by the way <laughs> That's Battle Bit made by a few people. Dark and Dark are made by a few many few people. Valheim, I think, was made by one person. No, they Hel- got a team. They got a, they team. Got a team now. Yeah, was it yeah. originally made by I one don't, person? I don't know. I think it was a small know. team, but yeah, uh, there there. It still uh, is a small team. I feel like there there had to have been at least two. 
<laughs> okay, I don't know. Hellish Court, which is amazing, made by one person on his bed in a, with a laptop. Yeah, so, I played. I played through that one. It's that always goofy. makes me have the question: What are what are the the big companies doing? That Tord the Banner, games take. Tord yeah. Banner is the big companies now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. hundred. They they well, were getting well, big. They're officially huge. You know, sometimes less developers is more. Uh, it depends too on the structure. In the kitchen. Yeah, too many cooks in the yeah. kitchen can be bad, man. I, I think a lot of it. a lot of meetings happen when you have big companies, and not a lot of work. That yeah, happens. yeah. I work. I, I, be I worked for a company that was small, and it grew, and then uh, I Same had to here. leave. You, you yeah. just like you feel the amount of meetings increase exponentially. Dude, I, yeah. I just I was just like, and the uh, amount of genuine meetings conversations about meetings, goes down. Yeah. Oh my days. Yeah. I, I always say with my job, it's like you, sometimes you have to sit through these meetings of all the shit that I'm never going to do. <laughs> like, like, yeah, it's just yeah. like, you read all this. This is what this is. This is what we want. It's like, nope, 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 and nope. Yeah, yeah. It can right. be. Uh, Sagi Milo said that uh, let's talk about Unreal Engine 5. It should be the new standard. I don't think we've seen many finished uh, Unreal Engine 5 games so yet. To be honest, I don't I don't really know um, what people are on about when they really say that because uh, I don't know in software development it's all about the right tool for what you're building, and if a tool is better, even if it's graphically better, it may not be better um, internally for for what you want to build. So I, I, I you know Unreal Five is probably good, but you know it, it's it's definitely a next step up but it's it's all about what your team can develop efficiently with as well that plays a big part and um you know as as software progresses it always takes time for adoption for for companies to to get used to development cycles and new people getting used to the new tools that the, these things offer but uh i agree I, to some extent but i also disagree a little bit um source where, two better source two yeah is there a uh, yeah, yeah, it's the open source uh, game engine or something, right? Or is that what yeah, is that? It's Valve's new game yeah. engine. Yeah, this, this is not my my expertise area, but okay. The the only I have I have an early uh, access copy of Valhall, the Viking game on Unreal oh, Engine Five, come and. On. Uh, I, I gotta say, the Unreal Engine Five, like I, I'm assuming, I have the feeling they bought textures from the store. One hundred percent. But the textures are beautiful. <laughs> like, so I'm excited yes. to see a game actually get finished. They look a little thrown together, but I'm excited to see when uh, like don't a give legit them publicity. Does. Strata. They've been working on that game for ten years. Yeah, I I mean, and there's no game to play. I've played it, so <laughs> there's no game to play yet. There's never been a game to play. It's <laughs> yeah, been ten so. years in the ten years. In the Jesus. Um. Oh, let's see what we got here. Frank wants to know. Fre Frenoko wants to know if the devs are going to listen to community suggestions. Um. Sometimes they do. I know for a fact that a few changes have been made based on me crying on stream. Well, so. <laughs> also, like a lot of what we've been talking about on the podcast, especially in these latest patch notes, have been implemented. I feel like, yeah. especially with with. Uh, I mean, just look at Solder Dave's suggestion with the um with meeting us halfway in the middle with the counter windows. That's an example. I yeah. think like it's funny. A lot um, of the balance changes of this update are going to be just like slightly reverting decisions made by 2.8. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Yeah. They removed jabbing on dodges and now they're adding it back, but it's a slow jab. They widened the parry box and now there's narrowing it by half. It's very fun. Just like a little bit and, of a yeah. step back. The, the, yeah. The developers but do watch listening. the podcast. They do watch some of the videos. So it's, you know, taken into account whether a change is anything is always, you know, yeah, I, I really do it. think that they're listening, but it it just feels like, um, you know, the development power isn't yeah. quite there, like, right? Like, like the like, the playlist, and there's only so much power that the devs who watch this stuff or take the feedback have. Yeah, like, yeah. The the playlist changes from Theic into Denosia was changed because of me crying. So, <laughs> like, I, I know that for <laughs> a fact. It was made because of me crying. So uh, th there yeah. is some stuff that we can get changed but you know they're not they're not gonna increase the speed of content because of people you know offering feedback so it's all it's all relative but they do watch the community stuff and read the posts so you know kind of sometimes uh stone cypher has a question for dave is it coincidence his on-screen demeanor is like his gameplay so chill but so deadly dave uh, is always locked yeah. in always always locked in. locked in there's never a 
Never a rel- like. Okay, he says chill, right? But I'm not chill. Heartbeats at like 150 all the time, every single second. Damn, dude, hummingbird now, status. He's now, fucking there, there energetic. Was a, there was a rumor going around my Discord that uh, that Dave practices semen withholding to increase his, you know, T levels to be at <laughs> prime competitive aggression levels at all, all true. times. All true. In <laughs> fact, I'm going to the MFL right now. All right. Well, we're gonna wish Dave Dave Thank luck you. there. I think me and Scotty are gonna be heading out then. Perfect eight o'clock. Dave, go enjoy. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. having to leave early. Thank you no, very no, much, no. guys. No, no, no. This is perfect. No, I know. It's like go. yeah, right on time. It's Anyways, been a lovely stream. Time. Yeah, dude. Much love, guys.